Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mull for Friday the 7th of July. Following McShane, we continue working through Joshua, the book of Joshua, today reading chapter 9, which deals with the Gibeonite deception. What happened was as the Israelites were moving into the land, they were going to destroy all the nations there. And the Gibeonites, one of the nations, sent a delegation to them. And these people had pretended to have come from a long way away. They, they dressed in old clothes and had old shoes and uh, took stale bread and broken wineskins and said, oh, we've come on this great journey, make a treaty with us. With us. We've heard these great stories about you and the God that you serve, um, and we want a peace treaty. So in verse 14, we told the men of Israel sampled their provisions, but did not inquire of the Lord. Then Joshua made a treaty of peace with them and let them live, and the leaders of the assembly ratified it by oath. And then it turns out that they were locals and they'd been deceived. They'd, they'd lied to Joshua and the leadership. But Joshua and them said, we've now made an oath. We have to keep it. And so they didn't destroy them, but they ended up saying that from that day, the Gibeonites became woodcutters and water carriers for the community. Or well, I think it was the Old Testament, Old Version, a hewers of wood and drawers of water. Um, but as I read that, I thought, it's something that, that as Christians we need to bear in mind, that we tend to think that people are good and noble and, and right, whereas in actual fact people are not. People are sinful, and people will be deceptive. People will deceive. People will tell lies. People will mislead you if it is to their advantage. Um, and therefore, we need to be careful when we deal with people. Not that we, we, we um, ignore them, but we, we, we tread carefully. And sometimes we need to inquire of the Lord. Joshua and them didn't, and it's highlighted. The men of, uh, of Israel sampled their provisions so that they tested them, checked what, you know, what, is what they're saying true, and from what they could see, and logically and almost empirically, yes, it was, because um, indeed the, the, the stuff was old. So it looked like they had come from a long way but it was deceptive. They sampled their ways, but did not inquire of the Lord. And so as we do go through life, we need to remember that we can inquire of the Lord. And the, the implication that you read in the story is that had they inquired of the Lord, the Gibeonite deception would have been exposed and they would have dealt very differently. Um, but they now had a problem long-term because of this. Um, and although they had hewers of wood and drawers of water, they had not completely uh, been able to take on the land as they were supposed to. And so as Christians, we need to remember to inquire of the Lord, particularly when making big big um, decisions, when there's important things to, to decide and we, we have choices to make. God's there to inquire of. And we can go to him and say, God, it looks like this is the thing that I should be doing. And from what I can see, this seems to be right but I rely on you and defer to you and seek your guidance and your will um, because God will always lead us in the right way at the right time uh, with the right things. So be encouraged to seek God's will as you go through life, um, not just to rely on what is presented to you by a fallen world. That way we can ensure that we do the right and we are on God's side. And if, as we do that, we are blessed.